So your safety on Instagram is actually a huge priority for Instagram. And because of that, they've given you tools to restrict people's access to your account. So if there's someone who's giving you trouble, maybe they're harassing you, or you just don't want them seeing your content, you do have some options to restrict the level of access that they have to you and your Instagram page. And those two options are restrict and block. And in this video, what we're going to do is walk through the differences between restricting someone versus blocking them, explaining what each of them means, and then how you can go about doing it. So if there's someone who's currently impacting your use of Instagram and you want to limit their access to you, we're going to help you find the right choice between restrict and block and then help you do it. So let's get right into it. What's going on? It's Ben here from Flick, the destination for Instagram domination as well as Instagram safety. And that's what we're covering in this video. The differences between restrict versus block and then how to do both of them and then which one is best for which situation. So let's start off with restrict. What does restrict mean on Instagram? When you restrict someone on Instagram, it means that you are restricting them from seeing certain parts of your profile or from interacting with you in certain ways. Restricting is different from blocking because users are still able to view your profile, follow you and have you as a follower. So Restrict may be the right option for someone that you just want to limit their access to you, but not block them entirely. So I already know your next question. How do I go about restricting somebody on Instagram? First, you'll want to log into your account and go to the profile of the user you'd like to restrict. Next, click on the three dots icon and then select restrict. You can also restrict someone through the settings option on your profile. Navigate to settings, then select privacy, then select restricted accounts. Search for the profile you'd like to restrict and then select this option. And either method will achieve the same result. So if you do want Want to restrict someone but you're worried about what they may think don't stress because the other user will not be notified instagram does not tell them that they've been restricted however you will now be able to restrict them from doing certain actions on your profile the first is commenting and technically they'll still be able to comment on your content but it won't be shown to the public only you and the other user that you've restricted will see the comment secondly you'll restrict the visibility of your activity so although your profile will look completely normal to the person that you've restricted they will not be able to see when you're online like some of your other friends can Plus, if they were to send you a DM, their DM would go to message requests rather than your primary inbox. And these tools are extremely useful if you're a public figure or a brand. Because if you want to eliminate any negative or hate comments that may come your way, the restrict functionality is a great way to do that. Especially because it doesn't cause too much upset because the user won't even know that they've been restricted. So it's a great way to quiet the haters to the public without them being notified and triggering them even further. So how do you tell if someone has restricted you? So to find out if you're blocked, it's pretty easy because if you go to try to find their profile, it just simply won't exist and you won't be able to see it. But finding out if you're restricted is a little more complicated. So if you think that you may be restricted from somebody else, here's some potential ways to figure that out. If you have DM history with them from the past, if you go into your inbox, you should be able to see the last time that they were online. If you can't see that at all, there's a possibility that you've been restricted from this user. If you're not restricted, you'd also be sent red receipts when the other person views your DM. So if you're not seeing those, there's also potential that you've been restricted. So that's everything you need to know about the restricted feature, how to use it and what it actually means. Now let's move on to blocking on Instagram. So first of all, how do you block someone? So if someone's really getting to you or they're just going way too far and you feel like restricting them just isn't enough, it doesn't send the message you're trying to, you can go ahead and fully block someone, which will mean you essentially completely disappear from that profile on Instagram. You'll still show up as normal across every other page, but for that person in particular, you won't exist. The user won't be able to search for or find your profile and you will be removed from their following as well as followers. And here's how you go about blocking someone. First, go to the person's profile that you'd like to block and then select the three dot icon in the top right hand corner then select block and poof you've now disappeared and they are blocked so sometimes a block may be a temporary thing that you then want to change later because things do change maybe that crazy x isn't as crazy anymore and you want to unblock them so here's how you can go about doing that to unblock someone on your profile tap the icon of the three horizontal lines in the top right hand corner then select settings then tap privacy and then in the connection section select blocked accounts. Find the user you'd like to unblock and then select unblock. And just like that, you've now taken them out of your own little Instagram jail and your account will now be visible to them as normal. So blocking is reversible and so is restricting. So here's how you can reverse or take back a restriction. To unrestrict someone, go to the person's profile that you'd like to unrestrict, select the three dots icon and then select unrestrict. It's that simple. And if you're curious, if you've been blocked on Instagram, it's pretty easy to find this out. If you know that an account exists and you try to find it and you simply cannot, then you have absolutely been blocked. Plus another way to find this out is if someone were to send you content from someone who has blocked you, you will not be able to see that content. Or if they've been tagged in content, whether it be a story or a main feed post, you will not be able to click through and visit that profile because if you've been blocked, that account no longer exists to you. And one other method you can use to make sure that you've been blocked is if you go to someone's account who hasn't blocked you, 
that you know follow them or they follow the person, you can go through their following or followers list and that person will not show up. So if you know that their best friend follows them and you were to go to their best friend's page and look through their followers list and they don't exist, they're not there, then it's very likely that you've been blocked. And if that happens, sorry for your blocking. I hope you didn't do anything too bad to deserve it and they can reverse it if they want to. If you weren't too crazy, maybe send them this video and they'll reverse it. I don't know. So that's everything that you need to know about restricting versus blocking on Instagram. So you now know which one is right for which situation and how to go about doing them. And if you learned something from this video and you wanna learn more about Instagram and how to grow on Instagram, don't forget to subscribe to Flick's YouTube channel because we post weekly videos here all about Instagram and helping you use it more effectively. As well as videos like this, teaching you about all the different features that Instagram gives you. So I hope you weren't blocked. I hope you weren't restricted, but if you were, this video should help you out a lot. Or if you need to block someone or restrict someone, we've got you covered there as well. After you've dealt with whatever mess you came to this video to solve, if you do want to grow on Instagram, one of the best and most effective ways to do that is by using the right hashtags across all of your content. And we've actually released a full comprehensive Instagram hashtag guide here on our YouTube channel that we've just linked in the card above. So if you are looking to grow on Instagram, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out this video. It will help you out tremendously. Stay safe out there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you on IG. Peace.